Hey everybody, Ducks here, and we're going to be doing the talent spec for the Frost Mage. That is right, the Frost Mage. So, first line, we went uh, with the Lonely Winter, because it makes, it makes, it has that feel of Marksman Hunter, where you can pick that, and you don't have a Water Elemental anymore, but then your Ice Lance, your Frozen Orbs, and your Icicles deal 25, and Frost Bolt, sorry, it deals 25% more damage. So that's what I went with, and honestly, <laughs> my goodness, was I in for a treat. But again, remember, this is the first iteration of the Frost Mage on Alpha, so it will more than likely change quite a bit, especially after what <laughs> we just <laughs> saw. Uh, bone Chilling, anyways, as the other one. Whenever you attempt to chill a target, you gain Bone Chilling, which lasts 6 seconds and stacks up to 16 times. Each stacks of bone chilling. I don't even want to go with the other ones. Don't even matter. Lonely winters, the shit. Like, don't even bother with the other ones, until they nerf <laughs> something. But for now, yeah, lonely winter. Next one is cauterize. You could actually get a toss up between that and cold snap. Cold snap. The only the big advantage of cold snaps is that you don't have to wait until you're dead to get the twenty, uh, the thirty five back. You get roughly about thirty percent back with cold snap, though. But again you get it back at the time you want so whenever you feel is appropriate or if let's say the boss has a I own you ability kind of thing that you want to avoid you can avoid it and heal yourself a little bit higher uh, health than uh, cauterize will heal you for so there's definitely a, a choice that you can make uh, this is just basically uh, making your uh, blink 20 yards uh, instead and it calls itself shimmer no Mirror images, I can see that being situational and really good, uh, but right now it's really hard to test uh, on silver mobs because all the silver mobs now get like two shotted or either that or my mage is way the fuck too OP. I'm gonna go with that they nerfed, they actually fucked up or they nerfed uh, silvers and I hope that not because that's a bad, bad one. Uh, I went with Encanter's Flow because again, I'm not a pro mage, I just wanted to have something that gives me a little bit of a buff, but again, I'm sure most people will use Rune of Power or Mirror Images. If it's like the last time, uh, last iteration of uh, on in Wad. Next row, I picked Frozen Touch. When you activate that, it gives you two charges of fro Finger of Frost, automatic, blink, ready to go, bang, bang, and you use that thing, and you're good to go. Uh, you could also have uh, Bitter Cold. The damage of Frozen Orb is increased by 10%, and now generate two charges of Finger of Frost uh, when it, it re first reaches a target. And then Ice Nova, which is an AOE, just like you know. Uh, from wad now um, one thing to notice is that when you get your two stacks of figure frost you use one and it gets to your tar a normal target like a you know a bear or whatever to have health so you use those two and that target's dead like there's very few targets that will survive just using two uh, two ice lands in a row so with uh, obviously with the finger of frost buff uh, then the next one I took Ice Flows just to have a little bit more of a movement uh, uh, thing going on with uh, Frost Bolt and also the, the ability that you get in the weapon which is called Ebon Bolt. The Ebon Bolt is quite a long cast at 2.92 uh, second cast. 45 second cooldown and it does the same thing that your uh, f Frozen Touch does. It gives you two more charges of Finger of Frost so you can like uh, use those Ice Lines quite a bit and move. You're much more I think uh, able to move Unlike uh, uh, with the damn freaking water elemental that needs to do water jet so that you can fucking get some stacks of like it was so annoying as fuck. This is much better. Really like that. Uh, but again, there's some tweaking that's gonna happen because it's a little too OP right now. Uh, the next one I picked on stable magic, uh, arcane blast, fireball, frost bolt. Have a 20% chance to explode on impact, dealing an additional 50% damage to the target and to all all the enemies within eight yards. You have also Frost bar, uh, Bomb, uh, places a bomb uh, on a target for 12 seconds, uh, limit one target. Your Ice Lances that benefit from Shatter will trigger the release of a wave of freezing ice dealing 10k damage to all targets and 6k frost damage to all other within 10 yards. And then Arctic Gale, damage dealt by Blizzard increased by 30% and the area covered is increased by 20%. This one is kind of interesting to me actually. Because I don't, I find the AOE is not that great. And if you don't want to go with Comet Storm on the last one here, Glacial Spike is retarded. Like I one shot stuff with that stuff. Like all you gotta do is get your five icicles, and when you have them, you it's a cast of 1.6, uh, actually 2.5 seconds, sorry. And then it basically combines all the icicles together in one big shard, and then it just fucking bolts for that fucking target, and like it hits for hits 
430k right now. So, and it's one shotting mobs like this, like go bay at 79k. <laughs> so, they might have to do something about that. We, I don't know, maybe not, maybe yes, we'll see. It is a little bit weird because it's conflicting with trying to get, if you're trying to go with the icicle way, it was really, yeah, you, you're going with the ice sense way, sorry. You're not really building much frost bolt anymore because you're constantly that you have that 30 second cooldown for a frozen touch that gives you two and you have that 45 second cooldown of the ebon bolt that gives you another two so you're basically constantly having those and you you just fill a little bit with frozen uh, uh frost bolt in there so you're not going to get enough shards that way or it's not going to be as good but again if you just you can also play a different type you can play the like type that just frozen bolts people till it gets its five and then next next mob just insta dies for leveling that is so there's definitely uh, some some different ways to play this but i can see mages trying to uh, uh, explore uh, in-depth glacial spike based on the damage it does again guys this is the first go at it there's going to be plenty of changes i'm expecting because it's just so far it's it's really too OP uh, to be staying this way. Again, thanks for watching, guys. And if you liked it, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And then see you guys later.